In the last few years, electric cars seem to be everywhere. But if you think that today's wattage wagons are something new, you'd be very wrong. When it comes to the disruptive idea of driving with plug-in power, it seems that everything old is new again. These days, everybody's talking about the electric car. How new is this idea? Well, believe it or not, the electric car's been around for more than 100 years. In the first season of Innovation Nation, I talked with the Henry Ford's curator of transportation, Matt Anderson, about the early EV revolution. Matt and I met up again to continue our discussion. Let's take a look at the screen. You want to talk about the beginning? Here's an electric car from 1896. Whoa. What was the upside of this? Upside is that they're extremely quiet and extremely easy to operate. You don't have to have a transmission. You don't have to shift gears. So uh, that works pretty well. The downside, of course, is the limited range and the heavy weight of the batteries. They had battery rechargers back then? They did. The electric car was a big deal then. In fact, uh, in 1900, they sold more electric cars than they did gas. So for a while, the infrastructure was all there. I think about this piece often, and I always think, what might have been? Oh, I know. If we had pursued that technology over the course of 100 years, who knows where we'd be. That map of the electric car recharging stations in Manhattan, I have a copy of that in my home because I just find it mesmerizing looking at that and thinking, this was happening. Why didn't it continue? Why did the electric car sort of stop before it really got started? Well, the electric cars had the same problems then that people worry about today, and that's the expense with an electric vehicle and the limited range, the range anxiety that you were going to run out of charge somewhere in the middle of nowhere. What's different about today, then? Range is much, much better on electric cars, and the big difference is that electricity is basically universal, at least in the United States now, where that wasn't the case uh, 100 years ago. We didn't really have a national grid, did we? No, no, in, the cities were electrified, but uh, in rural areas, it could be hard to find an electrical hookup. Yet here we are again, right back where we started. You know what they call this road? What's that? Electric Avenue. How do you feel about this experience? It, you know, I'm getting a charge out of it. I set you up for that. 